do have some updates um, from the community uh, mm-hmm. that I'd be happy to share today. All right. So you should say I should uh, uh, display your screen. That's what you're saying. I'm ready for it. Yeah, here we are. There we go. Thank you, sir. So uh, first things first, I uh, came across an update um, from James Robinson. He uh, has been maintaining, along with a few other members of the community, the open Intune baseline. Uh, we've showcased here on Office Hours a couple of different times. And there were several updates to the Windows baseline, the Windows 365 baseline, um, and Mac OS. And you can see here he's actually uh, switched to um, publishing releases for the open uh, Intune baseline, as well as additional change logs um, and readme updates uh, that I think are just going to help track this code and the baseline itself as this project uh, progresses and matures. So this is really awesome stuff. It's really cool to see this project come together, uh, not only from the technical standpoint, but um, seeing them utilize some of these uh, GitHub uh, features is really cool to me. Um, so I wanted to make sure that we shared that. Uh, another GitHub repo that I needed to share today is um, from Petri's uh, Get Into Management Extension Diagnostic Script. Uh, we've referenced this script a number of times as well on Office Hours, and uh, he put out a a uh, good update last week to make sure that the script is showing the new app workload log uh, that we're seeing for Win32 apps um, with the latest version of the Intune management extension. So this now uh, supports that broken out log file. Um, also noticed, uh, not necessarily on the Intune side of things or, or whatever, but just kind of a fun update here for those of you using Microsoft Power Toys. Um, there was a release for that uh, yesterday. A couple of new features and fixes as well. Um, I noticed that they added the new Power Toys workspace uh, feature that I am interested in playing around with, um, which helps you customize the layout and things like that on your desktop. Normally I'm using, um, I've got a, a nice Dell ultra wide monitor here, so I'm normally using their solution, but uh, if I can switch to something like Power Toys, I'm going to give this a shot and see, see what this looks like. Um, another community solution I came across is uh, from the Evotech blog. Um, love this little, uh, the name of it, Cleanup Monster. Nice little uh, design here. Um, love the bright colors, gets your attention. Basically what Clean Mo- Cleanup Monster is here, um, uh, and if you haven't been to his blog post, there are a, a ton of great PowerShell scripts here. Um, but anyways, Cleanup Monster is for cleaning up objects that are in Entra or Intune or even optionally Jamf, for example, or Active Directory. Uh, so this is a, another of many solutions that exist out there uh, that will help you clean up uh, some of these stale objects. I'm really liking some of these solutions that can reach into all of the various systems, because uh, as you and I well know, Johan, we can end up with the uh, with an object for the same device across so many different directories and systems that we actually have to pay attention to. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I would say that it, for me, it's pretty easy to forget about those things um, unless you're scheduling them or automating them. So any solutions that we have, I think are a, a good thing that will help make our lives easier, keep our, um, our systems clean and healthy. This is great stuff. And last but not least, I would say we, you and I, need to give a big shout out to our friend, Gary Block. Way overdue that domination and uh, award for sure. Oh, absolutely. I was so happy to see this yesterday. Um, Gary, congratulations. This is way overdue, like Johan said. Uh, I know this has been a long road, but... Man, does this guy deserve it? <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yes. So that was all I had. Um, but
But uh, as you can see, even for a short week, it's been a busy week in our community. Indeed, indeed. I did stumble across a few things. Um, let's see if I can get those shared over here. Dun, dun, dun. Share a screen, entire screen, and my second monitor. How about that? That looks looks good. Looks like a healthy dose of PowerShell too. Yeah, I've been working on a, a new release of uh, or new update with uh, of PSD with Mr. Michael Nystrom. Spent a good chunk of the day with that one, preparing for the WP Ninja conference next week. Oh, sorry, the conference is not not next week, but I'm leaving next week. I'm gonna visit the family in Sweden in between, so that'll be that'll be great. Awesome. But uh, let's see. Over here, healthy dose of Twitter or X. Uh, did you mention these settings last week, Andrew? I don't remember mentioning these. Anyway, that, that was so. um, that was a. a, a blog thread or blog thread, a Twitter thread going on around this blog post or about this blog post earlier today. Um, and I learned about some new register values that I, I haven't stumbled across before, mainly because they are kind of undocumented. But uh, apparently that there seemed to be a need in certain scenarios to actually have them cleaned out or removed um, if you have troubles moving the workload from uh, or over to Intune for software updates. So I figured that was worth mentioning, it was an interesting post to read. Um, I'm gonna just borrow that name so I get it together with a link. For reference. Then I stumbled across a great little video from uh, Steven over at Rubik's. This one here. Uh, a short video on how you connect Power BI to uh, Data Warehouse in Intune to collect data from that one. And he also showcased a dashboard from uh, one of our <laughs> frequently returning members or, or uh, friends here at the office hours, and that is Janik Reinhardt, whose blog post we have showcased many, many times over the, over the two years we've been doing this. Okay. Um, then we stumble across or stumble across this. Um, Microsoft apparently had some sort of, I don't know if it was an internal or external event. I, I saw um, saw the common journalists on Twitter where um, Zach Bode and others were, were tweeting, but it seems like they announced a good chunk of new hardware today. And that is always exciting. Oh, yes. So uh, not just the, the original ARM-based devices, but also new hardware from AMD and Intel uh, supporting um, Copilot Plus PCs, basically having native hardware, native neural processes for speeding up uh, AI features in Windows. And I'm assuming now in the uh, upcoming 24H2 also. So according to the wording here, we can expect to see these AI experiences starting in November uh, for Windows 11 here. So good stuff. There were also some uh, hints about upcoming desktop versions of systems to get high performance. So we'll see about that as, as time goes by. But uh, I think that was pretty cool. Did, did I see you tweet something earlier about Snapdragon 2? There are going to be some Snapdragon improvements or something? Um, maybe. <laughs> I may have just. I might have just seen it in passing. Um, it's hard to tell. I may have. I may have. And finally, there was a security patch for Config Manager released. This one here. Um, and it appears that it's for every single Config Manager release. Uh, they, they released this, and it's uh, intended to fix uh, a CVE. There are no details about the CVE yet, at least not what I could find. 
But Brian Dam had a tweet about this, and basically it's about changing the service account uh, from being just a local system accessing the database to being, yeah, being indeed a real service account. So there must be something since they released it, but I, I hope you'll be able to share more information as as the days goes by here, but this one was just fresh off the press about two hours before we <laughs> did the call today. But uh, at least I wanted to mention it. That one should show up in your console uh, shortly. So cool stuff there. Mm -hmm.